video, we're going to talk about Bishop Fulton J. Sheen's video regarding what is man. So, if you want to know more about it, just stay tuned. On that video, Bishop Fulton discusses about the nature of man. And for him, he differentiates the meaning of a man from 19th century to 20th century. Before we jump on my reflection, let's talk about what is on the video. So, uh, Bishop Fulton discusses about uh, the nature of man and he differentiates the man from 19th century to 20th century. On 19th century, a man is defined as an animal, an ancestry to animal kingdom. And it was, uh, their basis is more on biology and it was strengthened by Pavlov's observation on the dogs. So, Pavlov's um, have an observation with the dog and every time he ring a bell, the dogs are becoming conditioned to eat. And he realized that just like the dog, uh, the man is conditioned, have this conditioned reflex and a man is nothing more than a behavior animal. While on 20th century, people realizes that there is a difference between a man and an animal. The first one is the word art. So, um, they realize that no animals can uh, draw or do an art. The second one is science. So, they realize that um, a man is more intelligent than an animal and no no animal can do experiments just like uh, a man just like a man and the third one is the gift of laughter so uh, when we say laughter it is an unexpected juxtaposition of two ideas so they realize that an animal cannot laugh while man can laugh the fourth one is the sense of shame so when we say shame it is the unexpected juxtaposition of something that we have done wrong so an, a man can feel ashamed every time he or she is doing something wrong while animals don't have that uh, feeling they don't have conscience a man have um, a conscience when we uh, when they are doing wrong and for Bishop Fulton a shame is a sense of dignity of a man so that's how he differentiate the meaning of a man and an animal and for him shame can only be deleted if we follow God Listening on this video helps me to strengthen my faith towards God and it helped me realize a lot of things. I just want to testify on what Bishop Fulton says on this video that uh, if you keep the light beside you, it will fall behind. But if you walk with the light of God, you will never fear. Which I think is very true because we have God in our lives and every obstacle that we are facing will help God will help us and he will guide us on how are we going to solve those uh, problems that we are facing right now or in the future and I believe that God will never ever let go us he will never leave us because he loves us and I hope you learned a lot from this video and if you uh, find it interesting just like this video and hit the bell button down there so if I have another video uploaded you will be notified thank you